Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine and with the depleting groundwater supplies, there's researchers in the state working on some projects and discovering that vineyards could be a viable source to be utilized to take the flood water from the winter and use that to recharge the groundwater supply. And I met with William Horwath from UC Davis to talk about that. Here's William. Yeah, so I'm gonna talk about groundwater recharge. It's an approach where we can um, address uh, issues of water security in the future, and that's particularly an issue here in California, particularly as droughts become more common or potentially more common and, and snowpack might decrease. And we will we'll begin to rely on our groundwater supply even more than we have in the past. And, but we've already kind of relied on the groundwater supply and kind of depleted some of it, so we need now to address that. And if we can replenish groundwater, that would be a hedge or a buffer against uh, future water shortages uh, during a drought, for example. I've done some initial studies. We find that perennial crops are probably the best uh, candidates uh, for, for this uh, recharge. The recharge events would occur during sort of late winter after snow melt, but maybe in the future, you know, runoff may occur earlier because there would be less snowpack, for example. Um, but a lot of these flows that come off these sort of melting or, or events uh, from precipitation that's fallen in the mountains uh, often runs down and causes a lot of downstream damage. So that water is lost to the ocean. If we could capture that water and put it onto uh, farmland, for example, we could recharge groundwater and avoid some of that downstream damage and avoid losing that water. So we can then capture it and use it for the future by, by storing it in groundwater. There's some issues though, because farmland is fertilized. It has, it has uh, residual nitrogen in it, for example, in the soil profile. There's salts that are also uh, in the soil. And so if we do a recharge event, we might push those nutrients and, and water quality constituents down into groundwater and that could be a concern. Um, and so that's why grapes make a good crop uh, a candidate here because they generally, uh, especially particularly wine grapes, because they have less uh, soil nitrate in their profile often and that means they would push less nitrate into groundwater and affect its uh, water quality. Our initial results suggest that that's probably what might happen, that using grapes might not affect uh, groundwater so much, but these are initial studies. This is a whole new approach. Um, it's not really been done sort of on a scale that we're thinking about, and so the future demands that we do a, a few more studies at least to understand what the effects of pushing groundwater down is, um, and, but grapes tend to in the early part of this research tend to stick out as a, a good candidate here uh, for recharge events. Since this is a pretty new approach, um, growers who are interested in, in, in participating in something like this um, sort of have to be geographically located uh, close to these water supplies, you know, like uh, main ditches or canals or, or rivers where flood flows are, are occurring. Um, there, there's probably some investment needed by the growers and, and the irrigation districts to assist in getting this uh, to happen in the future. Um, maybe those downstream communities who, who could avoid flood damage might want to incentivize uh, these upstream um, operations. Uh, and so that's kind of part of the mix that has to be discussed. Um, and, you know, growers, uh, it'd be fairly voluntary on their part. You know, we, grapes are good candidates because they can be inundated. And, 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 and from the one study we have, from the, uh, we've done, um, the grower had claimed that it did not affect the quality of the grapes for wine production. And so I think those fields were flooded up and through May, even into June. Um, and uh, he, was, he was very impressed in that uh, the quality of the grapes weren't that affected. And he saved irrigation water because the soil profile had been filled up with water and so he, ha he could delay irrigation into the July and August and so that was one way to save uh, some, some dollars uh, on, on their part if you're going to participate in future recharge uh, type operations. Thank you, William. We look forward to gaining more updates on this research underway and anything that can increase our groundwater supply and ensure a, a good quality water supply for our growers in the future is welcome. Read more about it in American Vineyard Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.